Hi, my name is Yun Shen Xu, and this is my A New Wind experience. As I look back at the 19 years of my life, I mostly see two pieces of puzzles. The bigger piece is China, where I spent my childhood and most of my teenage years living in, and the other piece is my high school in a small town in southern Massachusetts. I always know that I wanted to travel to many places around the world. However, my parents thought that I should at least finish college around Boston since it is already so different from where I used to live in China, but I wanted something more. And the annual program from Northeastern University gave me that. It offers the students to spend their entire first semester abroad. It almost felt like Northeastern wanted to help me with my travel dream. From the eight available sites, I eventually picked Melbourne, Australia, and that's how the third piece of my life puzzle came into existence. from high school used to describe me as a koala because I always move in a very slow fashion and I love to hug things. Also on the top of my bucket list, I had to see and hold a koala when I went to Brisbane during spring break. I not only accomplished that, I also got the chance to feed kangaroos and sunbathe with them on the ground. A very interesting I found at the koala sanctuary was that all the animals seemed very lazy and whenever I saw them, they were just all Another lying big on thing the that I wanted to accomplish was in Australia was to visit Leon, one of my closest friends back in China. He moved to Brisbane over two years ago and we haven't seen each other since then. Over spring break, I finally got the chance to fly to Brisbane and visit him. We spent quality time together and I would say that that was the best part of my time studying abroad. During my time in Melbourne, I also did a lot of service learning. Ten other Northeastern students and I, together, the 11 of us spent six Monday mornings at the Abstract Common, which was a shelter from women and children in need, but now a garden for the general public. From interacting with the garden staff, working with plants, and helping with other tasks in the garden, and researching the history and background behind the common, we have learned much about the place as well as practical skills when it comes to gardening. We also volunteered at other events like the Parkinson's Walk and Around the Bay, both of which made me feel like an active citizen in the Melbourne community. Back in high school, most of the volunteering I did was for applying for colleges, but as a college student in a foreign country, doing service learning makes me a better person than I used to be. When I'm not taking classes or doing projects or homework, I will wander around the city and immerse myself into the world of Melbourne street art, especially the street musicians and the graffiti artworks. For the past several months, I had watched street musicians play all kinds of instruments in different ways and every single kind has the force to stop me from walking and listening to them play. I am also having Chinese line dancing training in Chinatown, which is something I never encountered in America. Line dancing is a form of traditional Chinese culture and is usually performed during Chinese New Year. It is often mistaken that since it's a fairly old tradition, those who are capable of line dancing are of an older age. But I was so amazed when I first saw my teammates, a bunch of young people in their 20s doing line dancing and promoting traditional culture. At first, I thought it would be simple to line dance once I learned the routine, but it not only requires me to remember the different routines but follow the drum beats, and it is also a tough workout for both of my upper and lower body because we have to be in the line costume and move the costume around in order to perform the dance. I have to thank Northeastern for providing me with this wonderful opportunity to come study in Australia because I would probably never have the chance to come and actually live in a foreign country for such a long time and I believe that we must travel around and explore as much as possible to build a more holistic worldview and to better understand ourselves.